Well, hello, travelers. Todd and Michelle here. We're traveling around Disney, and we have made our way down to Disney Springs to try a new brunch out right over here at Frontera Cucina. I believe I said that right this time. They have introduced a new brunch about two to three weeks ago. I'm not really sure, but we wanted to give it a try. So come along and see what Rick Bayless and his team have to offer us at Frontera Cucina. It's still hard for me to say. Cocina. Cocina. Co. Cocina. Don't yell at me. I'm trying to do an intro. So come along and let's see what they have to offer us today. Okay, travelers, we have made it into Frontera, Frontera Cucina, the Rick Bayless restaurant, because Casina, because they have a new brunch menu. And it is National Hispanic Heritage Month. So we decided to come here to try the new brunch. And we have been recommended some things on here because they started this about two weeks ago, the brunch menu. But you can also get the regular menu. It doesn't have to be brunch. So they are open for both. And travelers, don't forget, the merchandise website is live right now as you are watching this video. We decided to go live at 8 um, to coincide with the video. So thank you so much for your support on our first drop. And now we're doing our second drop at 8 this Sunday morning that you're watching this. Remember, it's limited edition stuff. It's We learned from the first week. Yeah. So we, we have to limit in order to get it out to you guys yes. quicker. So we're going to work on that. And, um, and thank you for your patience and yes, all thank that. Thank you so much for those of you that ordered. Thank you, thank you. Overwhelming, um, yeah, overwhelming. It's really so great. Thank you for such positive feedback. You know, it is our first week, so we're trying to get our feet underneath us still. So we appreciate that and keep that in mind. I've got some really fun stuff planned, especially coming out October 1 first. For the yeah, Halloween. that's going to be a great job. I'm actually going to start my cookies. I call them my cookies because I do um, like fun and decorated cookies. So I'll be putting some pictures up on the website. So keep checking back if you want to yeah. look and see what we're up to. Um, I'll have a little section there about like news and I'll just, I'm going to pop some pictures in there so you can uh, see what, what we're doing. Yeah, and we're trying just to see what works, what doesn't work, and what's best for everybody. So It's going to take a little bit to yeah. get some of the bugs, especially with the shipping kind of worked out so we can get the stuff turned around and get it quicker to you. But um, it, I guarantee it'll be faster than this week was. Right. <laughs> so, so hang in there with us. We appreciate that. So thank you so much. And now we're going to take a look at the menus and see what we're going to get here for day, today for brunch. Remember, travelers, if you're coming here to visit um, Frontera, it is a more traditional Mexican restaurant menu. Right. Um, the items that they serve on here, it's not like the standard things you're going to get from like a Chili's or things like they do have like um, chips and salsa and they do have a queso, but the queso isn't like, you know, a regular queso. It's like an entree on itself. Um, but the items that they serve are fresh, made yes. right back there in the kitchen that's open that you can see. Yeah. So, and he said the eggs are actually locally sourced. Mm -hmm. He says we don't ship, they come from a farm not a couple miles from here. Good and quality ingredients. It's, they do a um, regionalized Mexican specialty. So some of the items come from the mountain regions, from the lower regions. They're just all over the place. And this is Rick Bayless's restaurant. And he is a seven-time award-winning James Beard chef, so... Um, so it's hard to criticize him yeah. with his food, because he knows what he's doing. Kind of tough. <laughs> he knows what he's doing here. So we wanted to give it a try. We got I already some, partaked of a yeah. chip, and it was really good. Because we got some good. chips and salsa yeah, right the there. the salsa's pretty good. Very mild. Um, they oh, do the salsa the is mild. I don't care for that, though, because it's green. I love but that's just me. Yeah. Yeah. I might have to try it. I think it's just the color. Okay, that kind so of shut it. your eyes and try it. I will. I'll try it there. But we um, looked at the menus. Yeah. And, and here's our food. We went with... And this is Michelle's salad right here. The, what's it called? What kind of salad? It's a guacamole cob. And I added the Creekstone natural carne asada. That steak looks fantastic It on looks there. really good. Really good. And then we have Here's the... the pancake. Corn pancakes. So this is what Todd ordered for appetizer. Yep. This is the description is... Oh, wait. I got it right here. Hold on. Yep. It's on the brunch menu. Okay. This is mini cornmeal pancakes with butter and maple syrup 
and it is ten dollars for these little yeah, paintings. and they're cornmeal. So cornmeal. just remember so that. I'm gonna put this over there with him. Okay. And then my salad was seventeen dollars. Yep. And then I added the chick or the steak for sixteen dollars. Okay. And then we did get the appetizer of the chips and salsa, which you guys, I think we just talked about that. Smoky Chipotle, Herby Salsa Verde, and that is $6. Yep. And then Todd, And then this is mine, and I'm going to let Michelle describe it. He got the brunch. It's the Huevos Matuleños. Yep. Am I saying that right? It's two fried eggs on a crispy tostado with roasted tomatoes, spicy habanero, country ham, peas, sweet fried plantains, queso fresco, White onion, which they took off on his. So yep. You can see that. Cilantro, black beans, refritos, and that is $19. And that is a lot of food in that plate. And like Michelle said, this is not your traditional, what you would think Mexican food. This is it's traditional. It's not Americanized. This yes. is traditional. Traditional Mexican food. Up first is the pancakes, or the cornmeal pancakes. We want to try those first. Got them? That was a bite. I try to make that your size a, bite. No, I know. She, she, I was like, man, that's a big bite. My size bite. Here we go. And you can definitely see the texture. It's a little bit textured cornmeal. It smells, it smells good. Let's give these a try. Cheers. Cheers, honey. Mm. That's a different texture. I find them a little salty, but with the syrup, it's really good. They are. It's like fried cornbread. Yeah. Like a corn cake that we would make. It's good, but yeah. it's, it was a little shocking because I was expecting it to be like a pancake. I agree. But it's a fried piece of cornbread. I could I could use these to <coughs> dip in my other than, um, dinner here. Mm -hmm. Those go well with that. Mm -hmm. Those are quite tasty mm -hmm. and different. We're going to try Michelle's salad. I am only going to try the steak. Because that salad dressing is a little spicy, he said. So we're going to see about this. I didn't see it on there. He said he put a little extra. But we're going to see. I bet it's on the lettuce. Cheers, honey. Okay, cheers. That steak is full of flavor. Is it hot? Oh, okay. I was worried it was hot. The steak is really good. A little chewy. I had a tomato in there. Mm. We got green peppers, tomatoes. It was a big tomato. Yeah. That's, that, was, that steak's not bad. That steak's really good. Mm. I enjoyed that. I enjoyed that. All right, that was a big bite. <laughs> Finally, she Finally, took a big bite, it. not me. Um, the dressing's probably like five. Oh, okay. That's an eight for me. Is it? Is <laughs> That's it probably no. Your Try fives are usually my eights. Try a little bit of the lettuce. Just try a piece. Okay. You gotta get the dressing. There we go. Dressing all, and they mix the dressing on top. I I'll need try. to mix it up. Don't mix it up. No, no, no it's not bad at all. It's a little, gets a little warm, but not too bad. Okay, that's not too bad. Okay, I could, I could take that salad dressing. With me, I have a hard time with salads because I don't really care for lettuce and tomato like traditional salads. I have to put it's about the dressing. Right. Um, you always get a good dressing to me that doesn't make me think that there's lettuce in it. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like the dressing goes well with the salad. It's not just sitting on top of it. It flavors the salad. Gotcha. I don't know how to say it. No, I, I understand what so you're you know, saying. You, you, sometimes you put like a blue cheese dressing on a salad and all you taste is just the blue, blue cheese, cheese dressing. dressing. Right. This one isn't. It's like you can taste the tomato and you can taste the lettuce. It doesn't overpower really the, all the rest of the food. Okay. Good. I'm glad I got it. That makes sense. And I'm not a salad eater, but it's really yeah, good. That I makes wanted sense. the steak. They had the... Um, That's all she really wanted. Yeah. Let's be serious. They had um, the carne asada. Let's see, what was it called? Just that, carne asada. It was a little pricey for brunch or breakfast for me. This is like on their regular menu, so it's a yeah. dinner item, right? But it was like forty-eight dollars, and then you had to add um, if you wanted shrimp to add it, you could pay another fourteen dollars. But forty-eight dollars was like 
for lunch it was probably a little yeah understandable okay it's not red in real life but it always comes red in camera it does okay now we're going to try my dish yeah, it's too crunchy. Um, you just gotta pick it up. No, you can't. You can't. It's can too soft. Is it a corn tortilla? Yeah. Can I use a chip? Yeah, you can use a chip. That's thinking. Just get you some of that good stuff. All the egg is cooked, nice and runny on top. You can see the corn tortilla underneath. I am going to cut me a bite. There we go. I'm gonna plantain. Yes, get a plantain. Oh no. She lost a piece of egg. Locally sourced egg, by the way. Alright, I got it. Okay, there we go. Once again, Michelle bite, Todd bite. Cheers, honey. Here we go. Oh, excellent. You could have been in a better place, right? That was unexpected. That's unexpected, and that is a little spicy. I gotta get through this. <laughs> I can do it. <laughs> this is spicier than mine. Yeah, much spicier. It's really not that. I shouldn't say. It's got some heat to it. Maybe it's the chorizo. It could be. I forgot all about that. Oh, you got beans underneath. That'll cut it. Yeah, the black beans. There they are. See them underneath? I wanted to try the beans. Yeah. That's very flavorful, very full of stuff. Right, like Michelle said, we can use these tortilla chips also to get that goodness Ooh, out of that bowl. It's warm. I'm not gonna fib there. So, what kind of sauce is on there? This is gonna be a roasted tomato habanero sauce. Ah, that's right, habanero sauce. Yeah, so what do you think so far? It's a little warm, but it's good. Is it yes. spicier than mine? Yeah. You, you, you warned know, me about mine, but mine you know, is spicy. Once you get a little plantain in there, and every bite, you know, kind of balances it. Yeah, know? and that and the black beans it's very underneath. Yeah. It's very good. Yeah. Very flavorful. And the peas. I tell yeah. you what, having the chips too help. Oh yeah, dip that's in awesome. There. Yes. Yeah. Excellent. Very good. Excellent. Glad you're it. Thank you. You're so welcome. See, I just I got chip and dip there. <laughs> I have to eat my guacamole off because I don't like it with the salad. But the guacamole is excellent, but I don't like it with lettuce. They're known for the guacamole, apparently. Very good. Is it? That's good. Okay, travelers, we are enjoying our meal. Michelle still needs some more dressing. We asked for the dress. The um, server for some extra dressing. No, it's oh, just, here he comes. Here he comes. It's at the funny point now. They had an allergy crisis. And there was a thank you. Thank you much. so much. I had it on, on the salsa plate over here, and I meant to drop it off, and I totally forgot. I left it there. Excellent. No worries. It's okay. okay. We got it. Okay. Cool. Getting busy. How, how are those pancakes? Oh, they were fantastic. Right. Yeah. I'll take this plate like right. Oh wait, no, 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 no. Oh. I'm still dipping through my salsa stuff. It. <laughs> okay. So now she's got her extra dressing. Um, we had a crisis next to us. We had an allergy problem, but luckily nothing happened, so we it's were good green. there. The dressing is green. Yeah. Um, we did not have reservations for brunch this morning. We just kind of winged it. Michelle didn't know that. She doesn't like that dressing. So, she'll have to... It's avocado lime. <laughs> no, no, thank you. Why should I have to... Way limey. Oh. Okay, so don't put that on your salad. I did. I'm glad I tasted it first. But we've been the sitting. The dressing that's on it is good. Yeah. It's just um. A little too it's spicy. not a creamy dressing. It's like um. It's hard to explain. It looks like a vinaigrette. It's, it's, so, yeah, it's like kind of like a vinaigrette. See it like on the salad. And it looks like there's a ton on there, but there's kind of keep taste. You want more of that? It's no. good because okay. it's a little warm, so if you put more on it, it just builds up. It's gotcha. good. Don't get me wrong. It's a yeah. good salad. It's just, you know, different kind of dressing. Okay. That's all we... I mean, this is why we do this, so we it's can good. experience these things. But like I said, we didn't have a reservation. We got in no problem. But now there's a line at the door, and they have set, like, four large parties. So if you can, make a reservation. And I believe this is on open table that you can make a reservation for here also. So always check that out. 
but so far so good on all the food I really enjoyed the flavors um, the different textures and stuff like that so I really enjoyed this um, brunch that I had today how about you okay we're gonna continue to eat don't forget when you get a discount like we had mentioned that they do offer one here sometimes they will automatically add the gratuity so make sure you take a look at your check to make sure that they either have added it or haven't added it just so the server is properly um, tipped and all Especially that. Especially some of the discounts, they yeah. go ahead and do the auto tip. Yeah. So it's already on there. Like with mine, they did the auto tip today. So just to let you know for future visits to Disney Springs. Okay, travelers, we have finished our meal up here at Frontera. I won't even try to say Cucina. that. Cocina. Cocina. Um, I loved everything I had. The, the corn cakes were like a hoe cake or a Johnny cake to me but loved them with the syrup. My dish was spicy, but as the black beans and the plantains, all kinds of different flavor profiles in there. And then I used my chips. It was really good. I really enjoyed it. The shell steak, it was very good. The steak was a little chewy, a little tough, but it was flavored there well. It, but there was other pieces that were really good, but it had great flavor. That's just how steak goes. The something. salad was really good and fresh. Yeah. It was really good. It was good. The chips were good. Everything was good today. He keeps I, pointing over there. I'm looking at what he's doing. Well, I'm just looking because this is um, National Heritage Month. Spanish. Wait, is that what it says? Hispanic and Latin American Heritage Month. So that's why we chose here. Couldn't have chosen a better Together spot. Together we are Magia. Magia? Magic. I think it's magic. Magia. 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 I think that's magic. Celebrating Hispanic and Latin American culture. Yeah. So, um, we had a great time. Um, to let you know, they do annual pass holders. They do DVC. And on Monday through Thursday nights for dinner, kids eat free with the purchase of an entree. Right there. So... That's was, another great option for you. I was you. looking to see if the guava margarita. The guava margarita. It says it's good till October 15th, but I didn't know if they meant the Hispanic thing right. or if they meant the margarita. Because the way this 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 month worked, it's not a month, but it's a month. Because it's not a singular month, it's September 15th oh, through see. October 15th is how this um, Hispanic really good, Latin the American month margarita. works. That I didn't does even look think good. you get a margarita. Gosh, we'll have to come back next time. <laughs> Maybe you never know. Um, we finished everything. I don't even have a bite to take for the outro. We have water. So we got waters. <laughs> so here we go. Thank you, Michelle, for a great dinner, a great brunch. This is a Wait, dinner that's a brunch. Oh yeah. We well, gotta look into each other's eyes. <laughs> Did you know that was a thing, by the way? That's when you're here, you're supposed to look into the other person's eyes. Or somebody told us a fib. No, yeah, who knows. But anyway, travelers, um, we had a great time. And like we always say until next time, travel and adventure is out there. <laughs> here at Frontera, they do have a bar seating right here. And they do have outdoor seating. And right now, it is a fantastic day. So a great day to sit out by the springs.